Hey family, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Listen, everybody is about to see the favor of God on your life. His favor is his promises. This is everything that he is bestowing upon you for your obedience. And so God has tucked you away. He has pulled you away from certain people, from certain places. He has been working on you. You have been obedient. And so he's about to favor you and this favor is about to cause people to not only attach to you, but also it's going to cause your name to come up in rooms that you're not even in, to come up in conversations that you're not even in, to come up in brunches, to come up on the phone, to come up wherever you're not, okay? Because those people are going to see the favor of God on your life because your life is about to be an open display. It's about to be a billboard of God's goodness because of your obedience. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord told me this morning, as I was spending time with him, who I feel the Lord so strong. He repeated himself, you guys. And when he repeats himself, he is really not playing around. He is going to do what he said he's going to do. And so the Lord spoke this phrase to me back in February, and I released a word about it. And I'm going to link that word at the end of this video so that those of you who didn't hear it can play it and get it in your spirit. Those of you who did, this can be a check off for what God has done because I know he has delivered on that word because he is, again, repeating himself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So let me get into what the Lord told me this morning, you guys. And I'm just going to allow the Holy Spirit to flow. And I have some scriptures as well that the Lord led me to after I spent more time with him. So this is the phrase that he repeated. There is a reckoning that is taking place. My wrecking ball is in effect. And so this reckoning is a settlement or a judgment. So God is settling you in everything, okay? He's repaying you. This is your recompense. And this is also a righteous judgment for your obedience. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is him restoring you from any shame as well that you may have faced, that you may have gone through because of the things that he had you leave or the, the places he had you leave or the people he had you leave or, or whatever it is, whatever shame you have suffered this settlement is coming to you in the form of favor. Thank you, Lord. And so he says, my wrecking ball is in effect to tear down every building and every institution that doesn't serve me. And what he means is churches. He means kingdoms and he means relationships. Thank you, Lord. There is a changing of hands, a changing of power, says the Lord. As my children have put me as the head in their life, they became the head and everything else became the tail, according to Deuteronomy 28, 13. My God, you guys are walking out the word. If you don't see that in your life, that you are walking out the very scriptures that God has been highlighting to you throughout your whole transformation process into the new thing, into the new you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thus says the Lord, they have sought my kingdom and righteousness, and I'm adding everything to them. According to Matthew 6, 33, everything I have promised, I'm releasing, says the Lord. Let me say that again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Everything I have promised, I'm releasing, says the Lord. My children are blessed to be a blessing, says the Lord. So let me read Deuteronomy 28, 13 to you guys, just so that you know it's the Lord that makes you the head, just like he said, because you have put him first, I have made you the head. I'm putting you first in my kingdom. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you have sought my kingdom and my righteousness. All other things will be added unto you. This is what's going on. So it says in Deuteronomy 28, 13, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord, your God, that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be on top and not the bottom or above and not beneath. And so the Lord is making you the head because of your obedience. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The lender and not the borrower. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And so when the Lord said changing of hands and changing of power, this means to go from one owner to another. And so God, as he said, he's tearing down these institutions 
with his spiritual wrecking ball. And you guys know what a wrecking ball is. It tears down buildings. It tears down anything that needs to come down to crumbles, okay? So God is not playing around with this. And I believe that he is speaking about these mantles that he's taking from one to another. Um, these leadership positions, uh, businesses, this is also transfer of wealth. This is real estate. This is everything. This is the power to create wealth. This is everything the Lord has promised you. This is, again, everything he's been showing you in your process and that he's confirmed through his mouthpieces, through his prophets, through his word, most importantly, through the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. So you're right on track. Just stay in position. Thank you, Lord. And so... This is your portion as his child and this changing of hands and this changing of power is the wealth of the wicked laid up for the righteous. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So he's going to give you the power to create wealth. He's also going to transfer some things in your hands as well. Thank you, Lord. But he's going to show you what to do. Thank you, Lord. So the Lord showed me Zechariah chapter eight, and I'm going to close this out with this because it just ties up what he's saying about people attaching to you because of Christ, because of God in you and what he's doing in your life. Thank you, Lord. And so Zechariah 8 talks about rebuilding God's temple. And we know that we are God's temple. And then it also talks about coming prosperity and peace to God's people. You've been going through the storms and all these things. Some of you are at the place where God is restoring and you're at that place where it's favor time, okay? And even if you're still kind of going through your storm, that's okay. God is still going to carry you through to your breakthrough. He's fortifying you to strengthen you to break through your breakthrough. So this is tearing down mindsets. This is getting poverty mindset off of you so that you can understand that he wants you to have a life and life more abundantly in every area, in every area, and yes, financially included. It's very important because of what God wants you to build for him. He's going to provide the resources because he is the source. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to read verses 20 through 23 in the message version of Zechariah 8 because I like how it reads. And this is the Lord speaking to Zechariah. He says, people and their leaders will come from all over to see what's going on. <laughs> God is about to break loose, you guys. Ooh, he's about to break loose. He's about to break loose. He's already doing it. The leaders will confer with one another. Shouldn't we try to get in on this? Get in on God's blessings. Should we pray to God? What's keeping us? Let's go. Verse 22, lots of people, powerful nations, they'll come to Jerusalem looking for what they can get from God, looking to get a blessing from God. And then verse 23 says, at that time, 10 men speaking a variety of languages will grab the sleeve of one Jew, hold tight and say, let us go with you. We've heard that God is with you. And so everyone will see the favor of God on your life and that God is with you. And his favor is going to attract these people to you because of Christ in you because of what he's doing as well. They're going to want to know like, who is this God you're serving? Or I'm tired of toiling and trying to do things my way and hustling and all this stuff, trying to get things, you know, that I want or whatever it is. Like people are growing to a sense of frustration and they want more. It doesn't matter how many trips you take, how much material stuff you have, how much money you have, all this stuff. That is not what makes you happy, okay? It is the joy of the Lord. It is the hope of glory who is Christ within you, according to Colossians 1.27. And so this is what God is doing. He is bringing in the full number of people before this thing is over, okay? And so we're living in such a wonderful time as the people of God, as the children of God, as the body of Christ. Yes, there is persecution that comes along with this walk, with this narrow walk, but I'm here to tell you, God is not a man that he shall lie. 
He has repeated himself this morning and he is going to do everything that he said he's going to do. He is going to deliver on every promise, just as he said. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I pray this word has been a blessing to you. Play it back a few times to get it in your spirit. Make sure you listen to the video that I link at the end as well. Share it with someone that you feel it will be a blessing to. I want to thank all of you so much for your support, liking, subscribing, those of you who are sewing. Whatever it is, may the Lord continue to bless you all 100 fold in all areas of your lives, okay? Also, I want to let you guys know that my schedule is back open, but it is limited. So those of you who want to schedule a discovery call, you can go to thekingdomofgodmatters.com and click the work with me button and schedule your discovery call. Okay. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.